So these are, this is kind of the beginning process. On this side of the factory, we have a lot of like materials. This is kind of where we store everything. And then on, on this row, the first thing we have here is our quilter. So this is where we quilt all the like top parts of the mattress, um, what we call the quilt panel. So the part that you're sleeping on, on top of the mattress. Would it be this machine? And then it moves down to like the cutting area. So this is where we cut all the fabrics, the size for the specific mattresses. So we, we do most things like we make to order. Um, so we do sell a lot of the, the same sizes. So we do have a lot of things that we'll cut and prep ahead of time. But this is, this is our cutting table here. Um, so yeah, this is where we cut all our different fabrics, quilt panels, zipper covers, things of that such. All right, so yeah, that's cutting. And then we'll move into like the sewing area over here. So this is where we add on like any embroidery that we need to add on to the mattress. We, we cut the borders of the mattress and then we also make and sew custom like zipper covers and things like that. So, so this is our, this is like the embroidery machine here. You can tell it's working on on one of our our engineered sleep brand logos for like the embroider machine that would be like what our we we embroider our own logo on there and we also do it for other customers as well so yeah this is all just cutting area all different different machines for different purposes and then so for like on the other side where the cool panels were cut they have to be and they have to add like flange to it so this is a flange machine that this rose here runs like when when she's done with it it adds like this finish to the side here so she closes up the quilt panel there so this is the back side of the quilt machine so when they come out they're they're cut and uh stacked up here with all the different we make we probably have like maybe 10 to 15 different quilts um, that we run, so this is a really high volume one. And then we get into like the mattress building area. So we got some different foams here that we would use to build the different mattresses. Um, this machine over here actually cuts the foam. We do a lot of custom mattresses, so that cuts the foam into custom sizes. And um, we also do some like couch cushions for like kids. So that's part of this rectangle is part of that program. So we got several different like types of pocketed coils. So these are different. This is one of the pocketed coils that we use in, in a couple of mattresses. And then we do use that one in our engineered sleep brand as well. And so these these quilt panels here are being like added on to build. This is one of those, one of the trucking mattresses here that we made. What's happening? So now this is where all the mattresses are built. These are building stations. So we got several different mattresses here um, that we're making. We got like all foam mattress. These mattresses actually have no foam in them. They have all coils and, and New Zealand wool. So this is what New Zealand wool looks like. and on top of a pocketed coil here. So we got Dennis building this mattress with different different layers. And these are actually hand tufted mattresses. So there's no glue in them. They're all hand tufted, which Jimmy's kind of working on one over here. So, so this is what the this is what we use for the tufting process here. Kind of put this on stab it through the mattress to, to hold everything together. So you can see there's already been some done. So again, just continuing, this is all mattress build, so building the different layers of the mattress. And then like, so once the mattresses have been built, they come here, these, these are called tape edge stations where the mattress is finalized. So these, these borders and everything are tape edged in to completion um, before they go to inspection. So that's what these guys are, are doing here. They're tape edging the mattress, shutting it closed, and, and uh, then it just goes to inspection. So this this would be like the inspection area. So this is where the mattresses are inspected. Um, oh, they're putting, this, this is our roll pack machine. They're about to put some more plastic on it to the mattress to be rolled up. Um, 
So that's what they're doing right now. That's why. Yeah, they ran out of plastic. So the mattresses will be inspected before they're they're rolled up to the specific order. So this is what they look like when they're rolled up. Um, so this is after one of those mattresses come through the machine, and this is actually like a coil pocketed coil mattress. But sometimes people think you can't roll up a spring mattress, but you can. Here it is. And then here they're they're packaged into a box by by noon um, and prepared for for shipping. Mostly FedEx, we ship out via FedEx. So that's what Noon's doing here, just boxing the mattresses. They have their specific labels. So all these all these boxes are going to go somewhere. Um, and this is our, our shipping station here. So this is where the final label, FedEx label will be applied. And then it will go out that door onto the FedEx truck and go anywhere in the country. We ship to every state in the country pretty much every single day. So how, how long does it normally take for one of those mattresses to go from the very start to out that door? Yeah, if you, I mean, if you were just to focus on that mattress, I feel like they could probably get it all done in like an hour. Um, if they were just focused on that one, but we have, obviously have a bunch we're making at, at one time. So typically if from order to shipment, it's, it's shipped within like one to four days, depending on the mattress. Um, if it's custom, it can maybe take up to like five to seven days, business days, but typically one to four days. Subscribe to our channel for more breaking news coverage as well as following us on Twitter and Facebook at 1063WORD. And be sure to visit our website for more details on this and other news stories. I'm Matthew Causey, 1063WORD.com News.